it's finally here the ultraviolet f77 india's first electric sport bike and a very premium one at that we saw it back in 2019 in a fairly basic state we saw the battery about a month or two ago and now the bike is here in the flesh so let's find out what makes this bike so special now speaking about the styling of the ultraviolet f77 compared to what we saw in 2019 not much has changed if you look at the overall shape of the bike well it's almost identical the headlight shape also is the same but of course now you get this split element in here with two led headlights and the v shaped dial of course the big change you notice is of course this side panel now in 2019 this had a fairly flat side panel uh, which could open the door for the batteries inside which is removable now though this has a fixed battery and it has cooling vents here for the battery as well as little fin here which looks quite cool one thing that's quite stunning about this bike is that even with such large panels there's not a single bolt or screw visible anywhere on this bike which is really really impressive and speaking of design of course you have this LED tail light up here these grab handles which integrate into the overall shape of the bike LED indicators and even these alloy wheels they look quite smashing and of course the bike comes in three different colors this one here is the air strike color version that one the dark one is aptly named shadow and this bright red thing here of course is the laser and behind this big panel is this large fixed battery now of course this bike comes in two different variants one is the recon that you see here it gets the bigger battery that is 10.3 kilowatt hours and the base variant the standard with the original gets a battery of 7.1 kilowatt hours making these the biggest batteries on any indian electric two wheeler and in terms of range the bigger battery on this recon gets a range an idc range of 307 km on a full charge while the standard variant gets a range of 206 km and you can see this bike has panniers on the back now these panniers are designed to carry the portable chargers now alternate offers two kinds of chargers one is the base charger the other is the boost charger and these plug into any normal 15 amp outlet that you have and the base charger gives you a charging rate of 35 km for each hour of charging while the boost charger can charge about 75 km uh, in 1 hour so basically you are looking at a full charge time of around 4 to 5 hours using the boost charger now speaking of the underpinnings of the ultra wide f77 they are fairly premium as we had discussed during the battery day under this panel is a big trellis frame and of course use the battery as a stress member even all the other hardware is fairly top notch you get this upside down fork here which is adjustable for preload but that's only on this top end recon variant the monoshock also at the back is adjustable for preload on both the variants recon as well as the original and for the braking you get disc brakes at both ends single piston caliper at the back and a fairly large disc in the front 320 mm disc with a two pot real caliper from bybrae so braking hardware also is quite top notch So speaking about the features of the F77 it does get a 5 inch TFT screen here but it's not a touch screen you can control it using these switch cubes here for navigation selection and cancel and you have all the typical settings like bluetooth so you can connect your phone and you get all your typical stuff like geofencing and of course navigation and maps and the lot and of course you can go to performance and This bike has dual channel ABS, which can be changed to only at the front wheel if you select this. And in the other setting, of course, you have a list of sorry, a list of your trips. Oh, sorry, there you have trips. You also have your battery health that is here. which is very very informative as well the switch gear here looks rather premium but it does remind you of a certain bike right which one let us know in the comments below but of course what makes the ultra wide so exciting is right under there and that is its motor it's one of the most powerful motor that you get on any electric bike now in this top end variant the recon it makes 95 newton meters and the base variant it makes 85 nm Now, Alder claims quite high performance. Uh, the base version 
get to 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds and 0 to 100 in 8.3 seconds while the recon that you see here that does 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds and 0 to 100 in 8 seconds flat now that is almost comparable to something like a TS Apache RR310 a little bit slower but somewhere in the range of a 250 to motorcycle so that is quite commendable if those numbers are to be believed of course now coming to the most important point the pricing now the F77 is India's most premium military motorcycle and it's priced that way as well this top end recon variant that comes in at rupees 4.55 lakh ex showroom and you get a warranty of course of 5 years and uh, 50,000 kilometers and the base variant the, the original that comes in at rupees 3.80 lakh with a warranty of 3 years and 30k kilometers of course uh, deliveries for these bikes start in January of next year but that is only in Bangalore for phase 1 from Q2 onwards left next year so Q2, Q3, Q4 they release in different cities across the country and of course phase 3 involves selling this bike to the rest of the world that's Europe, US, East Asia and the rest now as you mentioned the bike comes in two variants the recon and the original but there is also one more which is the limited and of course what you see here is the lovely color scheme of grey and yellow and of course the bike will be only made in limited numbers only 77 and each one is numbered starting from 000 to 077 apart from the colors of course what you get is a different spec the battery remains the same but the motor is more powerful at 30.2 kilowatts and the, it also makes more torque at 100 Nm so this bike has faster acceleration as well it goes from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and 0 to 100 in 7.8 seconds which is roughly same as the Apache RR310 that we have tested and a top speed of course of 150 km per hour in contrast the other bikes the uh, Recon that has a top speed of 147 while the Sander has a top speed of only 140 km per hour yeah so that was our first look at the ultraviolet f77 of course we'll be riding this bike sometime in december and we'll have a review coming out for that sometime around then so do stay tuned do like share and hit the subscribe button for when that video drops